Greetings, Professor Nalepa here with Dubspot.com. In this week's Ableton Live tutorial, we're going to take a look at three cool vocal effect techniques that you can do. You have to excuse me if my voice is a little grisly. I took my advanced tech class on a field trip last night to Low End Theory. There was a super secret surprise DJ set from Tom York, and we had to do it. So, gotta give props to Daddy Kev. DJ Nobody, D Styles, Gaslamp Killer, No Can Do, the low end residents for continually bringing inspiration into the community week in and week out. If you guys are ever in Los Angeles, you have to check it out every Wednesday night at the airliner. It is the place to be. So, in honor of Tom York and his epic DJ set, we're going to use his lead vocal from Reckoner because for this example. We say this is the stem. They did a remix contest uh, a couple years back. And this is from the lead vocal stem. So, here's the technique. The first thing you want to do is flip the original vocal backwards. So, we're going to hit reverse here, and now we have that part backwards. Okay? So, we're going to take that reversed vocal line and we're going to run it out through a reverb. All right? So, I'm going to drop a reverb on that return track set it to high quality, turn up the decay time a little bit and we're gonna go through and just send that out and then I'm gonna create a new audio track and on that audio track on the input I'm gonna choose that reverb return track as the input source so I'm gonna record enable this track and now what I'm doing is I'm routing this reverse of the of the vocal out through the reverb and recording that reversed vocal reverb part. So let's just click one of these record buttons. This guy's already queued up, so we'll just hit the record button. Let it fade all the way out there with the decay tail, and then we'll just hit stop on that. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, let's copy this vocal part and hit tab and bring it over into the arrangement view. And I'm going to just paste it here by about bar nine. And what we're going to do is reverse it now so it's back playing forward. Okay, so I'm going to turn this little button off so we're hearing what's in the arrangement. Okay, and then let's turn off the send uh, to the reverb. So there's the dry reverb, or excuse me, there's the dry original part. And now let's grab that reversed uh, part out through the reverb, copy that over, and paste it here underneath. And then what we're going to do is reverse this. So now it's essentially reversed twice playing forward. So you just have to line it up properly. But what happens is you get this sort of ghost vocal that leads into when the actual word sounds. So let's take a listen and see what that sounds like. Okay, so that was a little bit not lined up, so let me grab this B and have it so it's right underneath that B. All right, so that works really well with the like this part here with this 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 sh sound. All right, so this is a technique you hear in a lot of dance music. It's super easy to do. You just take your original vocal part, reverse it, route that out through a nice reverb, record that part, just the reverb, and then take that and reverb that was the reverse and reverse it again so now it's actually playing forward so if we will listen to this by itself Alright, you get a really nice effect with that. It's a great trick. It's a great way to spice up your vocals. Alright, so that's one trick. Let's take a look at a couple more. So, in attendance last night was a uh, good friend Jason Nosage thing. And here's this track, Coat of Arms. 
So what he has going on here, he's got a vocal, his vocal routed out through a big reverb. And then when the drums kick in, there's a side chain compressor on that vocal, so the vocal's actually cutting out when the drums happen. Alright, so you can kind of hear the, the reverb vocal part dancing together with the drum part. So how did he do that? Let's see what we got here. We, let's take this, I've got a, just a recording of some oohs with a lot of reverb on them. Okay, but let's even add some more reverb. I'm just going to send that out to this reverb track here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to change this to sends only. So we're only hearing the extra reverb action. All right? And then let's go through and add a, uh, just to add a, a simple drum pattern here. So I'm just going to throw an impulse in real quick and go and pick a sound. So maybe just grab some sort of 808 kick drum. All right? And just drop that on there and uh, go through a double click here make a blank one bar MIDI clip and I'll just draw just a simple little kick pattern in here All right, so if this was to play together alright so now nothing's happening yet to the vocal but if I go and add a compressor Live's built-in compressor. Drag that over here onto the reverb part. And I'm going to open up the sidechain section. Turn sidechain on. Choose the audio input to be coming from that drum pattern. Pull your threshold level down. Now what happens is... Okay, you see what's going on there? Let's maybe get rid of rid of these so it's actually more pronounced. You can even mute that drum. You can hear how it's actually going through and impacting that vocal part. Alright, pretty cool. And then one last effect, these guys were in the house. These are some former students of mine who are killing it right now. It's not over Quebec. They have this great track called Postcards and they do some really nice vocal harmonies. And what they did on it is they actually routed their vocal harmonies out through some reverb. Um, or they actually just took the vocal harmonies. But what they did is they used side chain gating right here to get these hey hey's. All right, so what actually was happening there was the actual haze were just a rich cloud of background vocal pad sort of situation, but they utilized the gate plugin with the sidechain turned on so that essentially it only happened when you actually fired it. So let's check out how that would work. So we'll just use these ooze again that we had going here. Um, instead of a compressor, what's get rid of that and add the gate effect. So if I drop the gate on there and I turn side chaining on and I'll take the audio input from the impulse. Now if we turn this to, this is the amount here down at the bottom, if I turn that all the way down, let's take a look at what our info view calls this. This is the attenuation. So when the gate is closed, what is the value? So basically if, it's an, if the incoming side chain drum sound that I'm going to grab from the impulse here is not higher than this threshold level, what happens is it's going to go, right now it's at negative infinity, it's going to go to complete silence. If you have this up higher, it'll stay at like minus 40 dB. So it'll kind of be in the mix a little, little quiet. We'll take a look at both options. So if we play these oohs, we're not hearing anything until we actually trigger some sort of drum part on here. So I've got uh, my keyboard set to this drum, so let's check out when I play it. And I'll actually mute this drum sound. 
All right, so what's going on here is the ooze are actually going out through here. So if I turn off the gate, this is what it sounds like uh, bef without any sidechain gating. It's just this sort of rich cloud of oohs and ahs. All right? But with the sidechain gating on there, now you only hear it when you engage it. So this is a way to actually go through and draw in the parts. All right, so I'm triggering that. So you could actually just go through and draw in a pattern that you wanted here. Let's try to just go and draw these, these parts here. And if I trigger that. All right, so there you go. And there's three cool audio tricks, uh, some effects to spice up your vocals in your tracks. I'm Professor Nalapa. We'll be back with another DubSpot Ableton Live tutorial next week. Till then, keep rocking, and we'll see you next week. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.